Alright everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're getting into another reaction video. I know I said in the last one that I'm probably not going to do these anymore, but whether you guys see this or not is depending on whether it worked or not. So I'm going to make sure I closely look at it, make sure all of it's like not lagging, stuff like that. If it does end up lagging, you probably won't end up seeing this video. But if this video does make it on YouTube, then uh, it should be alright and it should be manageable. So um, today we are reacting to Basic Bloke. Yeah, R6 Gold 1 Clips for V-Extinction, he asked if I could, uh, I think he wanted me to just give my tips on them. So we're going to try and go a little bit in-depth in these ones and just try and pass on as best as I can. Obviously if they're clips, they're cut up, they're edited, I can see that it's edited. He's probably got highlights in there. So um, the thing with reviewing stuff is uh, I feel like the best tips I can give is sometimes when you're playing good, but also sometimes when you're playing bad, mix that together. So if anyone else wants to do this, I'm happy to react to them. Just let me know in the comments down below. That's what Basic Bloke did. He just let me know that he uploaded a video and asked if I could go check it out. I was like, for sure. But obviously, that's if my computer allows it. Hopefully it does, because I do want to react to people who are specifically asking me if they can get my tips. So I'll do my best. With that said, um... If you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, drop a sub notification bell. Also, make sure to come check out my Twitch streams. Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. I hope whatever I say here is uh, somewhat efficient, and hopefully it's not a terrible guide and tips, even though me, myself, I'm not really the highest ranked player, but hopefully I can pass on some sort of uh, useful advice for you, to, for you to use. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. He said the audio is muted, that's completely fair. So, throwing the drone, droning out uh, in a 2v3, good, good. Depending on whether you're going to go for a push here or not, yeah, the drone still works either way, I think it's completely effective. Getting that plant down, that's completely fair. Um, always go for the plant before the kill if the opportunity arises. Obviously, if you're getting fucked up, don't go for the plant, go for the kill. And if you're running out of time, you're running low on time, etc., go for the plant, go for the kill. Um, I'm probably going to try and pause this video like at the end of rounds just to give overall tips. But um, but other than that, I'm probably just going to talk within the video. Uh, the angle holding was a bit, I don't know, I don't know. You're, you're not really looking at anything right there. You're kind of just looking at the wall. Yeah, utilizing that drone though right there is effective. It's definitely going it, to, it's better than you standing out in the open being an idiot. Utilize your drone there to get the kill, so that's completely fair. Um, the audio just came in randomly, but the good thing you did there was you situated yourself in a position where you can you can prepare for that run out, but you can also but you can also utilize your drone and not be peeking in a stupid angle. So preparing for the run out instead instead of going all the way to ruins and holding it, maybe you utilize your drone there, and that's completely fair. I think I think you probably could have peeked if you really wanted to, but I don't really know what your play style is. And I don't think there's anything wrong at all with what you just did there. And I'd say I'd say you did well. It was a good hold. It was smart. It wasn't overly aggressive. Your teammate wasn't overly aggressive as well. Well, one of them was, but the other one wasn't. And you guys held it down, focused on the defuse, and got that plan off. And you got the defuse done, which is what we like to see. Always smart plays are going to help you out against good players. So that's what we like to see. Let's get into the next one. Right, we're back with round two. The Valkyrie in front of him is lagging. Playing Ella this time around, it's the start of the round, so we might see more frags this game, who knows. Uh, but yeah, full full round maybe, I don't know, I really don't know. Is that your deployable? Yeah, utilizing that deployable. If I were to give any tips, I'd say, I'd say, uh, here, hold up, I'll, let me pause it real quick. You know, you know, just a little bit ahead of you, there's the, uh, there's the wall on the, there's the wall, like, breaching into that small room, like, the outskirts of that small room. I really don't know what to call it, but that soft wall, there's like a locker there. That you can put the shield up against, and then you can use that to get an angle on outside the door. I'm sure this probably does provide an angle for the deployable on the right side of this guy as well. But I think the best strategy to do is to put it up close to that wall because that means you can rotate to the left without really having any contest if you need to get out of there fast. Say you're sitting here and you get Zofiard in this deployable here. It's really, it's you've really got nowhere to cover yourself if that gets so feared, etc. With like quickly, you're gonna have to run a, a certain distance, and you're probably gonna get caught lacking on your way there, and you're probably gonna die. So if I were to give any tips, it's, I'm pretty sure it's right next to the bomb. If you go up next to the bomb and put your shield next to there, you'll be able to utilize a, you'll have a a way to run away. And you'll also have more utilization and angles outside of the breach wall if it gets opened, of course. But with that said, yeah, that's, that's just a little tip advice. That one was taught to me by um, Black Ave MF. He's uh, one of the siege people I play with. Well, used to. I don't really play the game anymore, but 
yeah, just a little tip. Let's get let's keep going. Alrighty, so he's just holding down this shield for now. I think that's the end goal. He's got stuff blowing up. He's got his Grismot going off, which gives him a intel. Intel. He doesn't really move on it. And Zofia just messed. I think that was that Zofia on his left, or was it straight ahead? I really don't know. Okay, there's a dude straight in front of you. You know that now. The deployable did actually end up working in your favor, but as you can see, you got destroyed, and luckily no one was picking you at the time. Everything around you is getting incredibly hectic right now. I think I think a little bit of luck did kind of factor into your survival there, but I wouldn't be complaining. Um, yep, utilize that audio cue of that plant. Definitely the way to go. Um, a little bit of crouch in there uh, changed your angle of elevation as well, which is really good. I don't really have anything else to say on that round. I already went over the shield too much, so you did good there. Playing legions time around 3-3. Three, three. Um, legion obviously is someone who can gather intel if people collide with your with your legions. So this is definitely something that can be utilized well if you do it right. And let's let's see. I think definitely putting legions more on uh, low entry points is probably the better strategy. So putting a legion say on the stairs or something. If hell, excuse me. If hellers are already there, then yeah, that's fine. But if you if you don't have anyone else, I feel like putting the legions on those entry points will benefit other teammates. I know you pro you might be playing to yourself right now, but benefiting other teammates can also help them get frags as well. That legion mine you had right there just gave, uh, completely slowed down Nock, throwing off her game plan, and you're able to execute that kill. Really well done. You've got constant pings here. You know where he is. I probably would have peeked that myself, but I mean, it, it really just depends on playstyle. Those goo mines in the end are coming in clutch. Uh, we're going to quickly go back over that. This might lag the video a bit, because when I pause the video, it kind of lags a little bit. I think the main thing here, you were leaning way too much. Not not going at you at all. Everyone on console does it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. But try and train yourself to not lean as much. It's really, uh, especially the way you were leaning, it was it was more to the right and then center. To the right, center. Like, let's have a look. See see how you, you weren't really going side to side, which is probably the best effective lean spam you can do. It was center, left, center, left. Like, that's good, but doing it over and over again really just throws off your aim more than it actually gets it straight on. So make sure to look out for that. Not hating at all. Everyone does it on console, including me. I'm just saying, if you find yourself in that situation, try and learn from it, and then try and just... Maybe you just had... Maybe you just got stressed. He jumped you, stuff like that. It happens to the best of us. Maybe just try and watch that and try and work on not leaning as much when you get into gunfights, if you can remember to. It's completely fine if you can't. Who cares? But anyway, that's my, my next little tip. Um, if this is the same game, though, I'd recommend trying to switch up the gameplay a little bit. That's not your fault at all. Do not worry about it. You still got the injury outside. That K just... Badly timed. Badly timed. That's all it was. But, um... Yeah, try to switch up your strategies a little bit. I think that's the best thing you can do. Try and do different stuff every round. That'll probably help you out in the long term. Uh, so you have different play styles depending on who you're versing if you do progress up into those ranks. Which is what you're going to want to want. But holding down angles, doing the same stuff. If it's working, completely fine. You've got 15 seconds, 2v3. you got the numbers advantage. You've got a hard hold there. Surprisingly... The thing I'm finding kind of funny is both of those times you've sat in that area, no one's checked that corner, which is kind of surprising because there's literally a deployable shield there. I feel like as soon as a deployable shield is there, the first instance you would get is, let me make sure no one's behind that before. And with the uh, with the the visibility through those things since they added that in however long ago, it's really not that hard to see someone on the other side of a deployable shield. And I think the other team definitely just was not doing it right in terms of clearing the area. But I wouldn't be complaining if I were you. Obviously, you're getting free kills on the board. Um, your aim in that one was a lot better. There was still a little bit of unnecessary leaning, but it kind of worked to your favor that time. So, yeah, just make sure to keep watching that. And um, I think we're back on that coastline game from the original thing. But anyway, let's get to that now. All right, we're back on coastline. You just got shot out through the floor. You just got shot out from far. Good, good reactions to getting away from the constant uh, gunfire. Do make sure to watch that below. You did get shot from there. You didn't really check it that well, but... Oh, right, the timer. Okay, yeah, you need a plan. All right, never mind, I'm trolling. There's an Echo on the other team. I'm guessing because this is in the video, the Echo doesn't use his drone for some ungodly reason. You got kind of lucky there. I won't be... That's the other team failing to utilize their utility. So you should you should count yourself lucky there. You probably know that as well. Um, so, yeah. I think the thing with gold is sometimes other team... Like, the other team's mistakes can really work in your favor. If you if you capitalize on it correctly, um, you've got a constant ping there. This time you are deciding to peek, or you, no, you're doing the same thing. All right. 
So you're waiting for that run out, and then and then you're trying to utilize that play. That's completely fair. You're you're in a two v three. That run in there was kind of random. I'll be completely honest, but seems how I didn't hear the audio cue, but I'm guessing you heard that guy defuse, and you really had to get in there. Whatever Mute was doing is what I was just saying. Capitalizing on the other team's mistakes is something that's definitely stronger in the lower ranks, I feel like, because there's obviously more mistakes made. And you capitalized on two mistakes there. You capitalized on one, Echo not having any drones, not having utility. Who knows what happened to them, but he didn't utilize his utility. And two, you capitalized on that Mute while... Like, you knew you had to get rid of the diffuser, the dude diffusing, right? But you saw Mute wasn't looking, you went for that frag first, which is a uh, really smart decision-making, to be honest, because you capitalized on Mute making a mistake, and I think you did that really well. So, basically, with all that said, though, that is today's video. Um, five minutes of clips. If you want me to do another if you want me to do another set, Basic Bloke, I completely got you. I'll make sure to leave a like on that video as well. Hopefully, it gets it out a little bit more if you're actually interested in doing YouTube. Who knows? But with that said... That, that was overall pretty good. I passed down what I thought I noticed from those clips and what I thought you could have done better. Hopefully this helps you in some sort of way. And if it doesn't, I really do apologize. Um, Yeah, let me know. But <laughs> with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Drop a sub notification bell. Also, make sure to come check out my Twitch streams. Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. With that said, I really hope this video works because I just put a lot of like detail, explanation, stuff like that into it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm trying